Hello, it's Todd Morgan, your classic movie guy, here to talk to you about the one Lucille Ball movie you must see. Lucille Ball had been in Hollywood for 10 years now, but she was typecast with all of these boring parts, which kept her stuck as a serious dramatic actress in mostly supporting roles and also in B-movies. Lucille Ball hadn't yet been given an opportunity to show off everything she was capable of, that she could be the sex symbol, that she could dance, that she could sing, that she could be funny, very, very funny, that she could command the presence of the screen, much like Carol Lombard or Jean Harlow or Jean Arthur, all who were immensely popular, sexy, yet funny leading ladies in this same time period. All of this changed in 1940 when Lucille Ball was given free reign to do it all in one film. The one film you must see. Dorothy Arzner, a woman director, extremely rare for this time period, saw untapped talent in Lucille Ball. She cast Lucille as a burlesque dancer on a ruthless quest for fame and fortune in the oh-so-memorable film, Dance, Girl, Dance, released in 1940. Lucio Ball's name in the movie is Bubbles, and it suits her personality perfectly. She's energetic, she's bouncy, and she's brazenly ambitious, using her sex appeal and many other talents to become the queen of the burlesque. Lucio Ball is the sex symbol. Lucio Ball's memorable Hula dress audition scene is unforgettable. In walks Lucille Ball in a bikini and a hula dress, saying to the other girls, let me show you how this hula dancing is done. She sways her hips back and forth, looks over her shoulder, glancing back at the camera, creating one of those memorable, one-of-a-kind moments in Hollywood history. You look at Lucille Ball and you honestly say she's stunningly beautiful you can now see what Desi Arnaz saw as she met her future husband while filming this picture. Lucio Ball is a singer. Who knew? This movie has her singing a lot, and surprisingly, she holds her own. She actually was a very good singer. Her singing voice is delightful with a warm and inviting quality and a tone that complements the overall film. Her delivery is infused with her signature charisma, capturing the hearts of both the characters in the movie and the audience watching. Then there's the dancing. The dance sequence in this film are mesmerizing, showcasing Ball's remarkable agility and grace. Her talent as a dancer shines in every routine, captivating the audience with her expressive movements and dynamic presence. Whether performing solo or ensemble numbers, Ball's magnetism remains unrivaled in this film, making these dance sequences a true highlight of the movie. Then there's the comedy. Finally, a film that allows Lucille Ball to be herself. Funny. Lucille Ball shows impeccable comedic timing, especially in the numbers she does on stage. A man says to her before she is about to enter the stage for her number, give them all you got, baby. Bubbles responds, they couldn't take it <laughs> as she struts on stage. She endears the audience with her funny personality. And then in the end of one of her numbers, she fades behind the curtain and magically her entire dress floats into the air. And she's supposedly in her underwear behind the curtain. And then out comes an arm, flashes an arm as to say, "Uh oh, I can't come out because I'm in my underwear. It's very funny. Her mannerisms are all very funny in this movie. Lucio Ball is also bratty, jealous, insensitive, and ruthless, all in the same movie, in addition to all those endearing talents. The culmination of all her antics in the film lead to a fight scene for the ages, when Lucio Ball and Maureen O'Hara actually publicly brawl on stage. Director Arzner said the fight, the fight scene was so intense that they both came away with aches and pains 
after the shoot. And because they were rivals on the film, the director said they were actually really getting into this fight because it had been leading up for a while while the film was being made. <laughs> Lucio Ball's magnetic personality and spirited performance stole the spotlight. Lucio Ball put Hollywood on notice in this film. She could become a really big star. She could command attention like no one else in a film, which makes Dance Girl Dance from 1940 the one Lucio Ball movie you must see, the movie that unlocked her hidden potential. This is Todd Morgan, your classic movie guy, signing off, hoping you enjoy all your classic movies. Goodbye.